Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. So, this is the hard part of Grissom Academy. From my previous playthrough, my engineer playthrough, I know that there is a door on the far right side over here that you can just run through and it ends this part of the battle. But, I wasn't totally sure where it was, so I dropped down here prematurely. And I have to run back, unfortunately. But I do learn a lot of new things from this fight. And not just about the fight, but about the Vanguard as well, which was pretty cool. I was happy to see that. There is so much more to learn, and that I am so very ignorant. But now there is a turret set up. Freaking engineers, they set up the turrets every three seconds. And oh, how I miss being an engineer, which I never thought I'd say that, but sabotage is just amazing. I imagine the Geth will be a lot harder to deal with without it. So whittling this down, and I feel it's safe, so I drop down and... Wait a second, this door is closed. Well, that sucks. Yes, the door actually starts closed. It opens up later. You have to fight about two waves of guys, and then the third wave, I think, comes out of the door. And that's when it opens. Didn't know this. So... Yeah. I'm actually going to cut out a few deaths that didn't really show anything. I double check and make sure that this is the door on one death. I... Something else, I forget. But I wanted to keep this kind of short. My videos have been getting rather long lately, and I don't like it, so I'm, I'm trying to abridge things, I guess. And you really didn't learn anything from them either, so if I thought that they had educational value, I would have kept them in. But anyway, moving along. We're charging up here. Somehow he still blocked me, even though he wasn't really facing me. I thought I had a flank on him, but no. I'm gonna deal with this guy. And unfortunately, I believe there is something bad. Maybe a turret set up again. And again, I mentioned this in my engineer playthrough, but there are biotic people here. They are shooting poles and things at these guys occasionally. Yeah, there is a turret set up. Freaking hell. Another turret. I'll be dying in just a moment. I'm going to actually just shorten this up a little bit. Because it, you know, it's going to take a while and we have a lot more to see. I used Barrier as my bonus skill for this mission. I probably shouldn't have. I realized that when I was picking it. Specifically, this fight made me think, yeah, I probably shouldn't use Barrier. But you know what? Didn't really care. Wanted to try it out. Thought it might make my Nova super powered. Didn't really do what I wanted it to. Probably will never use it again. But charging over this guy, missed that shot, hit him here, hit him again, he's gone. Boom, boom, boom. This is where I die. Yeah, I tried moving to the left, I don't know if you saw, I was trying to move down the rail just like I did before against the other grenade, and it didn't do anything. It stood in place, so I died, so kinda sucks when that happens. Bit of a fluke. So going back to normal speed now, this is my success. And I noticed from my engineer and everything that party members tend to get stuck in that room. If you don't bring them out before you do, Many times they'll the door will close before they can get out, and they'll just get stuck in there, which sucks. Really nice to have them on this map and this fight to help deal with flankers and to serve as just meat shields for you. But I took out that generator on my right and the one down there. The one on my right is because... And you might say, well, why don't I use that? I have this high ground. And yes, I am now trying to use this high ground. I gave up on this strategy on my engineer, but this time I thought, you know what? Different class, let's try some different tactics. But I don't use that generator because Guardians tend to flank there, and even spawn there. So... And right there I realize, hey, you can get headshots on Guardians when you charge them head-on. It knocks away their shield, you get time dilation, and you can headshot them with a shotgun. Didn't know that until now, so I'm going to be using that all the time now when I face Guardians. So again, learn something new about the class this time around. But yes, Guardians, going back to what I was saying, Guardians flank near that generator up the stairs on the far right, and they get shields from that. So I just kill it, don't want to deal with that. And I killed the one down below because turrets spawn there, but I think you realize that. So anyway, moving back up here. And again, all right, let's try out my new trick. This time, unfortunately, I miss the head. I just nick his shoulder. Still getting used to predicting where their heads actually tilt where they stagger, what direction they stagger, and so that second shot was just a total miss. But I believe I will get another one in just a second. Yay for quick recharges. Boom, there we go. There's a nice 
Nice headshot there. I think I just shot that guy in the testicles, which is fantastic. And yes, you see that door is open now? They spawn in that little alcove on my far right, so best to watch for that. So it was cool. I was able to be more aggressive than I thought I would have been on this mission, on this fight in particular, which is great to see. I love playing Vanguard really aggressively. It helps to have a shorter cooldown. I wasn't really neutered by my loadout this time around. That guy wasn't cooperating, but... That's okay, boom. And you definitely can take that high ground as a vanguard. It was pretty hard for me to do so on my engineer, to the point that I gave up on it. It was really hard for my engineer to deal with guardians at this level when they were that close. Now that I know you can headshot them as a vanguard, even head-on, it makes them a lot easier to deal with. And it's actually really fun to do, so... And now I'm kind of just waiting. Just hoping that this guy might close, but now I see that my party members are dead, so I think, okay, there's just one guy up there, but I'm kind of dumb. I should have thought... That one centurion probably didn't kill both my party members. Yeah, it's because there's a turret up there, so that was unfortunate. Got really lucky here. Also, I am realizing now that whenever you pause, there's a radar in the bottom right corner. Hand to God, I never noticed that in my entire playthrough of my engineer. I just now realized it in this fight. And that makes playing a vanguard a lot easier, just knowing where everybody is. It makes charging a lot safer, because you know, you at least have an idea of where enemies are, so you don't have to worry about being flanked quite so much. And I see that there's somebody on the very far left, and I keep thinking they're going to come up behind me, but they never come. I wish I would have charged here on that turret. I'm really hesitant to charge a turret, but I know the charge does pretty good damage against armor. And Nova does too, so I might have been able to actually kill it when it was at half-life with just a quick charge Nova combo. But again, really didn't want to die. I'll have to remember to do that eventually, hopefully. He throws a grenade, but charge counters grenade beautifully. And of course I run out of ammo, though. Could have paid more attention to that. But not to worry. Cooldown is already done. Spam. Do that more for the shields than anything else, but he's taken out. And I was waiting for this guy to close, because I'm afraid to charge him because of the turret. I'm not sure if the turret has line of sight to me there. They, there are stairs, so you never know with stairs. But I shoo him away with my submachine gun, with my shuriken, and now I'm just going to hide in the hidey hole. I believe I saw... And so this guy comes back, which is what I was waiting for, so I can take him out easily. I actually even wait for him to sway a bit to the left, so I can charge and avoid the turret entirely. Quick res on Garrus. He was in a pretty good position for that. So I'm getting my bearings right now, and I do notice that there's a Guardian coming up on the far right up the stairs, so I'm waiting for that, and there he comes. But I really don't want to face him in the position I'm in right now, so I figure, hide here, and he'll either attack me or Garrus. If he attacks me, I'll just charge him. If he attacks Garrus, I'll charge him. Charge solves all of your problems. And Garrus actually kills him, he was so hurt, but there's another one coming. Here he comes, and just a quick charge. Get a shoulder shot, and Garrus finishes him off. So that worked great. And I know there's a turret. I'm not sure what sort of line of sight it has here. So I'm being very cautious, just peeking ever so slowly. Gonna take out this generator for some quick shield damage. Part of members actually did pretty solid damage in this fight, I have to say. Garrus does pretty good damage. Not used to really having party members that can hold their own. I mean, James is a pretty good tank, but who else did I use most of the time? Prothean, I guess. Javik. I guess he did okay. I don't know. Don't really think about it too much. Don't really care. Now, I know there's a guy here. I'm trying to see where he went. I don't see him anywhere. He's being sneaky. There he is. Trixy little bastard. Quick melee. Love that melee on the Vanguard. Love the knockback effect. And I backed off a bit because I didn't want to get just poked by the Atlas. 
And now we're going to speed this up too. This is just a minute or whatever of me slowly spamming down this Atlas mech. And he's stupid and he's stuck on this wall. Not that it really matters. It's just an Atlas mech. He can't close on you, so what are you going to do? And yeah, you can in fact kill him from over here. There's no, like, crazy repercussion or some scripted event where they nuke your face or something. Like, you get shot by a cane just because the developers hate you. That's what I was half expecting. It's too easy. I guess that's your reward for not just running into the room and taking your time and finishing it off. That's why I did take my time and finish it off, specifically to see if I could kill the damn thing. And I saw on my radar that there was another enemy. And I don't know where he is. As it turns out, he is in this room. He is being sneaky, tricksy, like the other one. But, not a problem. Stop missing, damn it. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, and have a good one.